They say that the carboxy terminus is protected by formation of esters. Deprotection results from treatment with base. All that so they just said in the book that you just use base to deprotect the uh, the carboxy ends. But you those things you look that up again in your lecture notes. Here it says, this is the answer key. And so you can see they protected Bach and right. on that side, CBZ and OBN on this side. And to the right, it says, credit given to any appropriate protection scheme where yellow is not removed by green. Right. So they either made a mistake or we made a mistake because they said they right. were yellow. Well, let's look at the uh, carboxy protecting groups in your notes again. So, where were the carboxy protecting groups? Mm. Oh, here you go. T TFA, tranquilizing acid. Okay. Yeah. Fair yes. enough. So they should have used something else. Or a Or no, they should have just switched to the CBD. Yeah, they could have made the NH one. You know how we put CBZ up there? They could have made that one off. They should have just switched it. And can you put like a star on that page in the last couple of if you need to? They could have just used one of these down here. Or two. Like or instead of, you know, we put Bach on the left and right. CBZ on the right. right. They could have put CBZ mm -hmm. on the left and Bach on the right. They could have put the Bach up here? Yeah. So that it would stay protected right. and then you That's get rid right. of it at the same time. That's right. You know, if worse comes to worse, if you if you if you end up seeing that you're deprotecting this, you could always re, you could always reprotect it. But that wouldn't be that wouldn't be quite as elegant. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like you guys uh, were right that there is a problem with their answers there. Uh, that's funny because they specifically said that's what they would take off credit for. But it looks like you're right. It looks like the trifluoracetic acid would have deprotected the um, this end as well. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.